What's up, guys? Ola Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 31 of my NBA 2K15 Lakers Fantasy Draft franchise. So it's crazy how far we've come in this my GM. We've done so much stuff, so many trades. Just thinking about 31 episodes, it's been a crazy series so far. And I'm sorry I've been kind of slowing down on the uploads. It's just as uh, tough to balance so many series at once. I'm, I promise I'm trying to get this back in the loop. But anyways, today we'll be taking on the Brooklyn Nets, and let's hop into this 2K Sports pregame show. Johnson and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal with you. It's NBA on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And taking a look here at the Lakers, the results have been excellent for them over the first half of the season. And it has to be said, they're not showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. And it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year! Yay! Chance, chance to turn over a new leaf, you know, uh, uh, make resolutions. We, we bid everybody out there a happy new year. Uh, I don't really like to make uh, a lot of uh, New Year's resolutions. All I'd like, I just, I just want to spend more time here in the studio with you. Well, Shaq. thank you, Ernie. Yeah. I have a couple of resolutions. Yeah? I want to eat better. Here in the studio, you want the food to be better, or you just want to eat in a more healthy way? In a more healthy way. Uh-huh. Uh, what else you got? Keep my temper better. You haven't really lost your temper very much well, around well here. Well, not here, but in the back. In oh, the yeah. back. oh, I've heard about that. Yeah. We have a guy that make us T-pose every time. I want to knock him out every time oh, I see him. Oh, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, but that's, that's video game lingo. But go ahead. What else? I want to do more walking and hiking. Oh, do you really? I want to eat less sweets. <laughs> you want to do more walking and hiking? Yes, Ernie. Really? I'm you a nature man. You don't strike me as a rugged outdoorsman. Yes, yeah. I'm all about that nature, baby. Would you go like to sleep in a small pup tent, too? No tents. Bears scare me. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go over to Kevin Harlan. Uh, that's all for us for now. Eating, hiking, and walking. All right, guys, if you're Shaq and Ernie, this is, in fact, a New Year's game. That's actually a big reason why I chose to play this game. Not only that, we're going up against the man DeMarcus Cousins, a big bully down in the paint, and we are trying to go and beat him. Great player right there, and that's a big reason for us to play them. And not only that, but they have Goran Dragic, a man who, in real life, got traded to the Miami Heat. Crazy trade, de trade deadline this year, and a lot of crazy moves happened. So, really big trade there. Goran Dragic is now on the Miami Heat, and Chris Bosh, with all my condolences, is actually uh, going to be gone for the rest of the season, I believe, due to like blood clots in his lung. And so, severe severe injury right there, so I wish him the best on his recovery. Uh, so, the Miami Heat are, are going to be an interesting team in the next few years with Chris Bosh coming back and Goran Dragic and Dwayne Wade. With Chris Bosh gone, I don't think they can necessarily be that team to contend yet, but next year when he comes back, they should be a very dominant team. But either way, Right here, you see Goran Dragic taking down field, down court, and you may be wondering why is there no cutouts. That's because there's another crazy play coming, and we are going to get a steal right there with John Wall, and that's going to be the second oop in the course of about 20 seconds. One of the craziest things I've ever done. Two oops in like 15 seconds. John Wall has a beautiful defense, and in this game, beautiful defense, and even real life, great defense makes great offense, and that is really being shown in effect right here. But right there, they're going to try to do their own thing, hit some threes. We're actually down by five, so that's not a good way to start the game. And John Wall's trying to put his back into it, and he's he knows what he's doing. He knows how to get his back in this game, and he's going to do so by not only getting a layup there, but getting another steal and throwing up another oop. This time to Jimmy Butler. Like I said, great off. I mean, great defense creates great offense. John Wall knows that exact motto, and he puts it into effect every single time I play with him. He's a great defender and a great guy on offense as well. Right here, Clay Thompson's gonna hit that three with perfect release. You guys know it's gonna 100% of the time. He's actually pretty psyched about that play. And talking about great defense, we're gonna get another chase down block right there. Clay Thompson wants to get another perfect release, and he's gonna do just that on this three. You guys know it's going in 100% of the time. So let's move right along. You see on the next play, we got John Wall. He's doing everything to continue our lead. We know we're down by five just a second ago. Well, we are up by five now, and John Wall's hitting these guys with crazy moves. Little did I know that John Wall had behind the back throw in the two years that I have had this guy on my team. I never knew he had behind the back pro, but when you are doing behind the back moves with John Wall at an effective time, he will break people's ankles so 
bad and that will happen a little bit later in this game he'll destroy someone's ankles and i can't wait for that clip to show up it is just deadly so right here you see we're up our fi up by five trying to continue that lead but they're sadly going to cut that lead down to two following a three by this guy his last name is burke i don't know his first name he's a rookie he must have been drafted in the year or two years ago but he is definitely a dominant player he actually hit a lot of threes at a really effective rate so great job by that guy young guy i should say and right here we're going to throw up an oop to reggie haston this guy is really going for those oops you see he always finds a way to cut to that basket and i am looking for him because i know he wants those oops so i'm gonna keep on tossing them up to him that's about a second or third oop of the game right there but either way we're gonna keep moving on we're up by six now and this is the play where john wall destroys some dude's ankles i'm not gonna replay it but make sure to cut it back if you did not see it in time because he just absolutely demolished goran Dragic's ankles and we're gonna throw up another oop this time to serge Ibaka. he threw that with some velocity through the rim that was ferocious Dominant dunk right there by a dominant player. Just crazy dunk. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to feed Serge Ibaka the ball. And that's kind of the issue is I'm not very good at getting power forward to the ball. They always play weird in 2K. But when Serge Ibaka does the right thing, man, I love it when he throws down those dunks or he, he shoots those. Or he even shoots with, you know, a high percentage. So uh, I love using Serge. And I also love using Clay Thompson. Look at him in another perfect release from behind the arc. You guys know that's going in 100% of the time. So somehow... This guy's going to manage to miss an, a pretty easy layup, a pretty open layup. And Clay Thompson's going to make him pay by pulling up for three and drilling this one. At this point, I should just say that's going in 100% of the time whenever Clay Thompson shoots threes because he is that effective of a shooter. And talking about effective shooting, even Serge Ibaka is joining in and getting a three-pointer of his own. So you see right there, behind the back pro is coming into effect again with John Wall completely cutting the defense and getting the nice left-handed dunk. So beautiful play by him. And we are all the way up by 23. You notice that through the quarters, I kind of shortened how much editing I did in those quarters because we really just kind of flew away from this team as the game went on. Beautiful game by us. We end up winning by about 20. I think I'm getting better at this game, so I may need to boost up the difficulty because I am just dominating these teams. And I don't know why. So uh, difficulty boost may be in the near future because you see we're going to walk out of this game with the win. We are up by 21. I'm having some fun with Colin Bryant. See, I'm just kind of running. I'm just kind of running people over. For no good reason, uh, I'm just trying to score a little bit more with Colin Bryant. I have a lot of fun with this guy. He really is kind of like a Kobe Bryant, and I'm having a lot of fun with him. So you see, at this point, I decide I'm just going to dribble the ball out. I think I might actually shoot one more time. Yeah, I shoot one more time just to kind of rub it in and see if he'll make it. He doesn't, though. So we're going to walk out of here with a 21-point victory. So we're going to do the normal stuff, we'll look through the box score, get an idea of who played the biggest impact on our team. As usual... John Wall, without a doubt, is probably the most impactful player on our team on offense and defense. So great job by him this game. Also a great job by Clay Thompson hitting those threes. And of course, Reggie Haston going for those oops. Serge Ibaka playing effective. Love it when everybody works as a unit. If you guys enjoyed, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and why I do to make it more interesting in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other ones i got going on in my channel. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.